Hi, boys and girls. Let's talk math. We are on a new chapter, and not only is it a new chapter, but it is the last chapter of our math book, and it is on 3D shapes. 3D shapes. So fun. So this is the first lesson on spheres and cubes spheres and cubes and you should have watched the video already on spheres and cubes okay. so here we have the front of your packet now you get to go around it says go on a three-dimensional shape walk around the classroom well you are going to go on a three-dimensional shape walk around your house identify objects that are shaped like spheres and like cubes Draw a picture of one of the objects beside the matching shape. Tell whether the objects are solid or flat. So if I was going to go around my house and look for things that are spheres and cubes, well, let's see. Just looking around my house right now, spheres and cubes. Do, do, do. I'm looking, oh, I found a cube thing in my house. Oop, it happened again. Okay, it was a cute obstruct like this, but anyway, it was Kleenex. It's a Kleenex box. Okay, and then a severe, well, my son likes to play basketball, so there's actually a basketball in our house too. So we have both of those things. So you can go around and look for the things in your house that are shaped like spheres and cubes. The next thing, you'll turn the page and you will see the page for see and show. See and show. This is where we do a little practice of what we're going to be doing. So look at number one. Next to number one, there is a word. The word is sphere. Sphere. Name the shape above the objects. Well, that shape is a sphere. Okay. Now, compare it to the shapes of the objects below. So there's a golf ball and a present. Trace the circle around the matching shape. Well, the golf ball is the one that is a sphere. The present is a cube. All right, and then we have number two. The word is cube. There's a picture of a cube. Then, same thing. Compare it to the shapes of the objects below and trace the circle around the matching shape. Well, that's a little Play-Doh container. It's a uh, cylinder and over here we have the cube dice are a cube shape okay so you're going to do that and then you are going to let's look at number two okay for number two it looks just a little bit different name the sh first shape in the row what is that shape it's a sphere a sphere compare it to the shapes of the objects in the row Circle the matching shape. Well, is this a matching shape, this graham cracker box? No. Is this a matching shape, this party favor? No. Is this a matching shape, that tomato? Yes, a sphere. Okay, then you will go on to number three on that page. You're going to do the same thing. Look at the cube, compare it to these objects. One of these objects is the same shape as the cube. You will circle that object. Okay, and then we will go on to on my own. You should be able to do this part on your own. You shouldn't need any help on it. On my own. Here's number five. It looks like the same thing that we just did so you really don't need any help with this right you should be able to look at the shape over here the sphere and you should look at each of these shapes and circle the shape that is the same the sphere and you go on and you do that for each of the problems on this page and then you go on to the last page And the last page is the problem solving. Ooh, look at those great shapes. They can make something. See the cube and the cone are making something that looks like a rocket ship. Okay, 
So name the shape of the planet. Here's the planet. It's purple. What is the shape of the planet? That's right. The shape of a planet is a sphere. You're going to draw lines from the sphere shapes down here up to the planet. Okay. Identify the part of the rocket that is shaped like a cube. Find those shapes on the page and draw lines from those shapes to the rocket. Okay, so the first thing we're doing is drawing lines from the sphere to the planet. And then you're also going to draw lines from the cubes to the cube shape on the rocket. Okay, that is what you do for the problem solving. So that is chapter 12, lesson one. All right. Work hard.